Memphis's best known landmarks are Beale Street and Graceland, and they both scream music. In no other city in the country can you find the very roots of the rhythms that move us from funk and soul to the gut wrenching beat of blues on a harmonica and guitar. Memphis's music scene has always been the soul of a nation. Let's take a look and find out why. You take a dart and just throw it on a Memphis map, it's sure to land on a landmark with a musical note. Take Memphis's most iconic street, Bill Street. Dating back to the 1800s and pre-COVID, you could hear jazz along the street. Blues, funk, even a little rock and roll. I think it's the soul of the world. Along Bill Street, you will find Handy Park, named after W.C. Handy, the man who some say hit a high note and first put the Bluff City on the chart. Handy is known as the father of the blues, the first man to copyright a blues song. It was enough to make Matty on Bill Street flip out. Or at least take a flip or two down the street. Without the music of Memphis, there's no British invasion. Not far from Bill Street is Memphis's Rock and Soul Museum. It sits adjacent to FedEx Forum. Inside, you'll see exhibits showcasing the names that put Memphis music on the map. All these rock groups like Led Zeppelin, Beatles, Rolling Stones, they were all listening and influenced by music that either came from Memphis or artists that came from Memphis or 100 miles away from Memphis. Boo Mitchell with the Royal Studios says it's not just big names emulating Memphis music. Take it over, girl. You Take better, Calvin Upshaw you from Marks, Mississippi, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from Memphis. He's competing on American Idol and says Memphis music and its soul influences him. To me, it's like Putting out music that bring family together, that uplift your spirit, that's got a lot of love, that can bring a lot of happiness, peace. From the Rock and Soul Museum, head across the street, and it's the Memphis Music Hall of Fame. Travel on a quiet street south of downtown, and you'll find where American Soul music was born, at Stax. You'll see Isaac Hayes' 24 karat gold tricked out Cadillac, Otis Redding's clothing, and even a real church inside where many music genres started. Cameron Whalum knows all too well the impact stacks and church music has on soul. He's often seen playing at his father's church on a Sunday. And when not there, you'll see him performing with Bruno Mars playing his trombone, like during the Grammys just this month. I feel like Memphis is the soul of the nation because. Um, historically, all of the sound of soul music and rock and roll music and blues music and jazz music, that's four of the, the main uh, music groups that make up America, that make up, you know, this country. Can you describe what soul is to you? Music that's true, music that comes from your heart, music that comes from inside. You know, our music, it, it still uh, transcends to today's artists like Three Six Mafia, Project Pat. Um, eight ball and MJG, uh, some of the Memphis uh, 90s hip hop is the most sampled genre in rap. I mean, everybody from Cardi B to ASAP Rocky, um, G Easy, all of these people are sampling, you know, our 90s Memphis hip hop. Turn a few corners and there sits Royal Studios. It's one of the oldest continuously operating music recording studios in the world. It's widely known for producing artists such as Al Green, Chuck Berry, Anthony Hamilton, and more. Memphis is, the word Memphis, the city of Memphis, is in more songs than any other city. I mean, it's, it's like a landslide. It's like 1,500 songs and the next closest city is probably in 500 songs. So from this look around town, you can see on just about every corner, Memphis is music. It, it touches your soul, it touches your heart and your spirit. Our music uh, changed the world. Memphis music is the soul of the nation. And speaking of soul music, Whalem has recently released four new soul and rhythm and blues songs. To learn more about them, just click on this story on our website, localmemphis.com.